here. Um, really, really sorry for missing last week. I, um, I mean, there was, yeah, there was a blackout, and so I couldn't upload it. Uh, well, I couldn't uh, do anything really because my laptop was out of charge, and so then, um, and then I got like this weird throat infection thing, which I've still kind of got, but I can talk again now. So I'm back. Um, so I'll cover um, a little bit of what I missed last week before getting on to the random topic of this week. Now, um, as you may know, last week's topic was uh, what makes a man. And I think this is pretty basic, to be honest. Uh, what makes a, like, a man is anyone who identifies as a man. Oh, it's just my dog. Okay, um, sorry, I have to be kind of quiet because I'm at my dad's right now and there's my phone um uh, someone's gender is like uh well, like what makes a man a woman or anything in between is all about how they feel i mean your gender identity makes you like whatever your gender is like quite obviously i don't i'm really bad at explaining things i guess but i mean it's pretty obvious i think although some people don't seem to understand so for the a uh, random topic I was going to talk a little bit about discrimination and all this and stuff because, well, not discrimination, but rant on a little bit about um, people being slightly intolerant. I mean, it will be quick because my voice is dying. Uh, I've had uh, quite quite a few times uh, recently, I've had like uh, people on my Tomba uh, when asking questions, putting uh, links to certain um, well-known transphobic blogs and it's a bit you know uh, people will just send me these links saying that you know you should learn things from this and uh, the particular ones <clears throat> the particular blogs that I'm talking about mainly focus on putting down FTMs and it's a bit kind of you know a bit harsh I don't really I, I can well I do I obviously I can understand where uh, trans phobia and biophobia well I can understand where like when I say like, um, uh, like when I use phobias in that term, I do mean it as the, um, kind of like, uh, the umbrella term for any, um, extreme disliking or fear, um, or irrational disliking or fear of, um, a group of people, um, which, well, I mean, I think most people can agree that it is stupid, but at the same time I think it's kind of understandable and I think it's, um, important not to become ignorant of the ignorant and not to be prejudiced of the prejudiced you know you have to just kind of learn to accept them and just know that they're the ones that are missing out on meeting some awesome people missing out on being you know of making this world actually accepting they're the ones who are screwing up not you and so i don't really like to listen to um like any crap that i get i just tend to ignore it or I, like do some sort of sarcastic thing with it, you know. You just have to kind of ignore that sort of stuff. Or uh, try and teach, I guess, because ignorance is just, you know, a lack of understanding as well as sometimes some just really misguided views. And I think that if people actually sat there and spoke to these people, I mean, sometimes they can't be reasoned with, I think. If people did try, uh, you know, we might actually, you know, just don't feed the trolls really. Just instead of, well, I guess you have to feed them, but don't feed them crap. Just, you know, be the bigger man or bigger woman or bigger person. I think that's pretty much all I can say <clears throat> because my voice really is dying. And so, and I have to go out tomorrow, so. Um, so I will see you next week. I'm sorry about last week and I'm sorry to all the guys on the collab because I haven't really been uh, contacting many people. I've been like disconnected from a lot of people so sorry about that and bye.